okay student good morning students in the last video we have discussed about how to check whether the given schedule is view serializable or not in a simple process we have done we have identified how many serial schedules are there and we have to check for each serial schedule whether it is view equivalent or not if you found any uh, serial schedule is view equivalent to the given schedule we have said that this is view serializable but the problem is that if the number of transactions are increased in the given means if the number of transactions in the given schedule is more t1 t2 t3 like, like that if we have 10 then we have 10 factorial serial schedules are there we have to check with them that is a tedious process in to avoid that uh, complexity we have another procedure called constructing the polygraph if for the complex serializability we have done the precedence graph now we will check with the for view serializability we will construct the polygraph and by using the polygraph we will say whether it is view serializable or not now as i said graph we will have nodes so we have as there are we have two transactions we have two nodes in the graph okay now please listen carefully this is not very simple process so first let me discuss for all the data items we have only one data item here so for all the data items what is the who has done the first initial read now the transaction in the given schedule transaction one has done the initial read if it should be view equivalent in the given serial schedule also transaction one only should do the initial read so if the initial read has done by the t1 so meaning is that any any number of transactions are there first t1 should start then only other transaction should start so i can say that first t1 should start then t2 because we have two transaction transaction one and transaction two if i want to say transaction one only should start then what i have to write i have to give an edge from transaction one to transaction two then it will be always transaction one only will be executing first i hope you have understood let me discuss again there is a read A in the given schedule. Transaction 1 is doing the read A. Whatever the serial schedule you have taken, if it should be view equivalent to the serial schedule, initial read or it should also be done by transaction 1. Meaning is that always in any serial schedule for this given non-serial schedule, the transaction 1 should execute, then only transaction 2 should execute. So that's why there should be an edge for a director from T1 to T2. Now we will see the write operation. Final write who has done transaction 1 only is doing. So if transaction 1 is only doing, so final write at the end also, transaction 1 only should end. So the meaning is that transaction 1 to transaction 2 it should execute. Then transaction 2 to again transaction 1 it should come. Meaning is that again it should end with the transaction 1. So it should be like this because this final write is saying that are you able to understand because of the initial read we have to get a dry edge from T1 to T2 because transaction 1 should execute then transaction 2. But now if you see final write who has done the final write again transaction 1 only done. So if it should be view equivalent to any serial schedule at the end the transaction 1 on it has to do the final write but in between transaction 2 should not do the write operation so it will come from transaction 1 to transaction 2 then again transaction 2 to transaction 1 it should come so that's why I have drawn an edge from transaction 2 to transaction 1 so this is the process because we don't have any write read sequence so we will not worry about it only initial read we have checked and final write we have checked there is no write read sequence because after this write, no transaction 1 is not reading any further. Even in after this write, there is no read operation. So, we no need to worry about the write read sequence in this given example. So, now we have completed the construction process of the polygraph. Now, we have to check whether any cycle is there or not. If there is any cycle, then I will say that it is not view serializable. If there is no cycle, then I can say that it is view serializable. But for this one, there is a cycle, so I can say that it is not view serializable. Even when we have checked with the 
view equivalence to any of its serial schedule we found that it is not view serializable so even in the polygraph process also we found that it is not view serializable okay so i know that you cannot understand this procedure with one example so i have given another example for you so let me discuss for you we have three transactions in the game schedule so how many nodes we will have node 1 trans node 2 and node 3 okay is it clear so please listen if you see all the reads who has done the initial read transaction 1 only has read so transaction 2 transaction 3 should come after transaction 1 only because transaction 1 should start then only transaction 2 and transaction should come so how can I draw the edge transaction 1 should start and go to transaction 2 again transaction 1 should go and transaction 3 because transaction 1 should start after that only transaction 2 and transaction 3 should come but we don't know about the order between transaction 2 and transaction 3 but whatever the transaction 2 and transaction 3 they should come after only transaction 1 so I have drawn an edge like this okay so initial read was done now who is doing the final write final write was done by transaction 3 before that transaction 2 is doing the write transaction 1 is doing no problem transaction 3 is doing the final write so transaction 3 is doing the final write means from transaction 2 you should come for transaction 3 similarly you have to complete your transaction 1 then only you have to come to transaction 3 because transaction 3 is doing the final write so transaction 1 should finish and come to transaction 3 similarly transaction 2 should finish and come to transaction 3 already we have drawn an edge from transaction 1 to transaction 3 we will not draw it we will draw the edge like this transaction 2 to transaction 3 so now we have checked with the initial read we have checked with the final write now we have to check any write read sequence is there or not if you see there is after writes there is no read so i can say that there is no write read sequence in the given example so we have completed the construction process of polygraph now once you have constructed the polygraph we have to check whether any cycles are there or not can you find any cycles in this one there is no cycles in this procedure so i can say that it is view serializable now what is the order what is the order it is view serializable is first t1 then t2 then t3 this is the serial schedule which is view equivalent to this given non-serial schedule so i can say that it is view serializable i hope you have understood with these two examples let me give few more examples for you for better understanding thank you